In this video, we're going to look at importing our own custom height maps. Now, we're not actually going to cover creating our own height maps, we're just going to drag some into the engine and see what they look like. So, if you look in the YouTube video description, I've actually uploaded the folder you guys can download and I've chucked some height maps in there ready for you to use. So, once you've downloaded that, the first thing we want to do is just click Landscapes, we'll click Manage, drop this down, click New Landscape, move that to about there and we'll scroll down on here we'll click import from file we'll browse this find our folder and here is our terrain height maps now I created these in the trial of GeoControl 2 I've now run out of the trial time so I can't show you how to create them but there's many tutorials on YouTube so go ahead and download GeoControl 2 if you want to create your own like these um, you can also download World Machine and use that but for this, I'm just going to use this one right here. This is the one I used in my example video. So we're ready to just, uh, import, so let's click import. And here we have our landscape. Don't worry about that. And um, we can actually apply a simple texture to this landscape, but it's not a texture that we can see you know real good up close it's just for you know viewing far away so to do that we'll browse to our folder again and we can just drag in the image now you have to be patient because it does take a uh, you know like might take like 30 seconds 20 seconds now once you've done that you'll right click it and create material and you'll get this so we'll open that and the first thing you want to do is just drag the square to there and you'll like UVs out and just type in texture coordinate and you'll want to select that one and it'll look like this and the first thing you want to do is change the U tiling to zero and the V tiling to zero and then click apply that will um, stop the the texture from tiling because it's just one massive texture that will apply to our landscape and now once you've done that we're ready to drag it on Here we go. Now it just takes a long time to uh, compile right there because I'm recording the video at the same time. And I've actually re recorded this video about 12 times because each time I've watched it over, my audio has been cut out because of, um, you know, it's just thinking too much. So that's why I didn't show you how to do it exactly because it just kept crashing my audio there for some reason. But as you can see, we have our texture applied to our landscape now. And the next thing you want to do is build the lighting. And that's just going to make it look really great. And that's about it for uh, importing landscapes. So now one final thing you can do, you can actually go ahead and just start sculpting as well. So, you know, you can just start mucking around with it all. And make sure you check out the other height maps as well and just play with them. And uh, that's about it for this one. Okay, thanks very much, guys.